Hi guys, I have another beautiful pasta recipe to share with you today. This is cacio e pepe, and if you haven't had it before, it's this luscious, creamy, cheesy, black peppercorn spiced pasta that is so flavorful, and best of all, it only takes a handful of ingredients. I've got some black peppercorns, some butter, pecorino, parmesan, spaghetti, and extra virgin olive oil. That is literally it. You most likely have your hands on most of these things in your kitchen right this moment, so you could go make it tonight. Right, we're gonna start off by cooking out our pasta. First things first, you wanna make sure that your pasta water is seasoned really nicely. So a good blast of salt in your pasta water. You want it to taste quite salty here. And then we've got some spaghetti. So I'm just gonna pop this straight in. You'll notice I'm using quite a small pot of water here. That's for good reason. I wanna use the water to help bring together this sauce. So a small amount of water means that I'm concentrating the starchiness that's gonna be produced by the pasta and that's gonna help us with a really lovely creamy finish to this sauce. So just kind of tease the pasta into this water. You do need to give it a little bit of time just to get in there and soften up. And while this is softening down, I have a few tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil going into a very low pan. So a little drop of that goes in. And then to this, we're gonna grind up some black peppercorns. So I have a nice little pestle and mortar here with some black peppercorns. And all I'm gonna do is bash these up. Really the flavor you get from freshly ground black peppercorns. It's completely different to the stuff that you buy already ground. So do take the time to grind it up yourself. It just has this powerful bite and that spice you get from black peppercorns is wonderful and especially in this sauce. This is looking pretty good. I don't want to grind too much. I still want to see a little hint of those black peppercorn kernels in there. Let's just check on our pasta, make sure that's down and cooking quite nicely. This is looking good. And then to our pan with the oil, we're going straight in there with these beautiful black peppercorns. Now, what we're gonna do here is just toast these ever so slightly. If you can imagine a lot of these spices, they sit in store cupboards for months on end, and by adding them to a little oil or even a dry frying pan, you're just gonna help them become a little bit more aromatic. So give them a good stir through that oil, and we're just gonna bring this up to temperature just until it starts sizzling ever so slightly. So leave that to come up to the sizzle. Give your pasta another little tease in the pan and you can see it's now softened right into that pasta water. Now, let's talk cheeses. When you make cacio e pepe, generally speaking, you wanna use pecorino, which is a sheep's milk cheese. It has a sort of tangy, salty bite, but I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to my cacio e pepe just to get that sort of nutty flavor that you get with Parmesan cheese, but it's primarily pecorino. So a good handful of pecorino and then a small handful of Parmesan as well. So Parmesan cheese goes on top. And look, if you only have pecorino or you only have Parmesan cheese, it's not the end of the world. Both work really well, but try and preference pecorino over Parmesan. Okay, this is looking good. I'm gonna toss my cheese into a little bowl here. And this will come in handy when it comes to bringing this sauce together. All right, let's check on our peppercorns. They're coming up quite nicely. They're getting a bit of a sizzle going on in here. All the hard work is basically done. Now we just have to wait for the pasta to cook. Okay, we are in a good place. We've got pasta just about to be al dente. You wanna take it just off before it becomes too soft because we're gonna cook it out in the pan here. I'm gonna do a little switcheroo, get the heat back on the pan here. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon or so of that starchy pasta water, get it straight into our pan. We're also gonna add a nice knob of butter that's gonna melt down and help create this sauce. Now, the trick of this is to drain the pasta directly into this sauce, but first off, I'm gonna melt down this butter and get it emulsified with the water here. Such a simple recipe, but this is where you need to make sure you get it right because you wanna make sure that you get a creamy sauce and there is a risk that the cheese can just clump together. So there's a little bit of shaking and a little bit of patience to get the perfect cacio e pepe. Right, this is looking good. We've got melted butter, that sauce is coming together. We're gonna grab up our pasta, drain it directly into the pan. And remember, you wanna keep that pasta water to make sure that if you need to loosen out the mix, you have something to do it with. So just transfer that across. Right, we've got all our pasta in. It's time to go in there with our pecorino and our parmesan. A little drizzle of olive oil is gonna help it along. And now, my friends, you need to stir and shake until you get that lovely sauce. Takes a bit of patience, but you will get there and you'll be left with a creamy, gorgeous pasta sauce. This is where it's at. And actually, this does need a tiny little bit of water, so just straight in while it's cooking with a little bit of that liquid. Okay, we are in business. You can see that luscious, creamy sauce coming together. Right, this is looking good. Give it a last little toss, see where we're at. 
We got a lovely sauce there. Right, straight into a plate. Let's serve it up. A nice big spoonful of that. Look at the creamy sauce. No cream added. It's literally just pasta water, a touch of butter, and that cheese. This is spectacular. A little bit over the top. And my friends, we are in business. That is a proper plate of pasta. Let me grab a tiny touch of cheese just to pop over the top. Last little grating of cheese, and you need no more. And now, the only job I have left to do after all that shaking is to dive in here and give it a taste. Wow. It is just so, so good. Now, if you want the recipe for this delicious and simple pasta recipe, you'll get it in the box below in a link over to my website. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for lots more pasta recipes just like this one. Leave me a comment letting me know if I did justice to this classic dish. And until then, my friends, I will see you soon. Happy pasta making. The beauty of this dish, like I said, is it's only a handful of ingredients, but really it can happen all on the hob. You can watch it as you're going and be, oh God, sorry, I'm sorry, Jesus Christ, here we go.